This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but more on that later. Tesla recently shared some amazing footage inside of Gigafactory Berlin as it was in operation. And as you can see, these clips show just how impressively efficient this factory really is. On the topic of Gigafactory Berlin, I have quite a few important updates to share in this video, including these inside view videos that Tesla shared, updates on the Model Y production ramp there, and also some exciting 4680 battery production news from Gigafactory Berlin as well. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss this. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. As we dive into this topic, I want to say a special thank you to all of you who support me every month through Patreon. It really means a lot and it makes a big difference. And also a special shout out to one of my newest supporters, Stephen Lodwick. Recently, the official Tesla Twitter account shared a number of videos showing the Gigafactory Berlin production line, the Model Y production line there in operation. I'm gonna talk more about production numbers and such in a minute, but I thought it would be good to go ahead and walk you through these videos that Tesla shared and use quotes from these tweets that Tesla put out describing what is going on in each of these video clips. For this first clip, Tesla posted 13 different body parts are stamped with a total of 7,300 tons of force in a press line that runs at up to 16 parts per minute. For the second clip, which shows the casting process of the underbodies that make up the Model Y, Tesla added, rear chassis underbody pieces are cast in single pieces using a custom aluminum alloy replacing 70 plus metal parts. We've talked about this quite a bit in the past, but it's important that we don't miss just how significant these underbody castings are and the ability to not only shrink the size of the body shop, but also just make this process extremely more efficient both on the time side and on the cost side. This is something that other automakers are beginning to um, either order machines or starting to talk about copying, but Tesla really is pioneering these underbody castings. This next clip shows the body shop and Tesla added, in the body shop, stamped parts and chassis castings are welded together by 600 plus robots. Each car is then lifted into the paint shop by one of the largest industrial robots ever. Speaking of that, the next clips that Tesla shared were of the paint shop where they added, Giga Berlin is home to our most advanced paint system yet, enabling multi-layer painting for depth, dimension, and a hand-painted look. With this advanced paint shop, you've probably seen pictures of this, um, but Tesla has developed two very unique specific colors that are only available from Made in Gigafactory Berlin Model Ys. And those paint colors include Midnight Cherry Red and also Quicksilver. These two paint colors are incredible and I know that these images don't do them justice. And I hope one day that we're able to get an advanced paint shop like this in the United States because I would really love to have a Model Y in that Quicksilver color. For the last clip of Inside Gigafactory Berlin, uh, Tesla mentioned, finally, the vehicle moves to general assembly where seats, HVAC, power electronics, drive units, and more are installed using 20 plus automated stations. This is our biggest shop by headcount on any given shift. 1,000 plus people are helping build Model Y. Now, Gigafactory Berlin is a relatively new factory that just actually opened up last year. And this factory has been ramping up very quickly. For instance, in December, as we'll talk about more later, Tesla tweeted out on their official Twitter account that the Gigafactory Berlin was able to achieve a rate of 3,000 Model Ys built in a single week. I'll go over a quick timeline of Tesla's production ramp uh, progress at Gigafactory Berlin and then estimate where they are today and when they'll hit a rate of 5,000 Model Ys being produced per week. But before I do that, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to SPAN for sponsoring this video. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel eliminates the need for a separate hardwired critical loads panel. Using the iOS or Android app, you can easily move circuits into one of three categories like the must-have category, which is given priority during a backup, the nice to have category, which will be powered until your battery system reaches a 50% charge and the not essential category, which is off during outages, allowing you to only use energy where it is needed most and extend your battery backup time. 
Try to do that with your existing system. To find out more and get a quote for your particular situation, go over to span.io or click the link in the video description. And when you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you put cleaner watt in the comment section so Span knows that I sent you. Back in November of 2019, the location of Gigafactory Berlin was officially announced. Then in May of 2020, construction officially began. Then less than two years later in March of 2022, this factory officially opened. And when it comes to the production ramp, impressively by June of 2022, Tesla was already able to report as Tesla officially put up on their Twitter account, um, they were able to achieve a rate of 1000 Model Ys being produced in a single week. Um, and this was posted on June 17th. For their next milestone, on October 1st, Tesla tweeted out that they were able to achieve a rate of 2,000 Model Ys uh, built in a single week. Then in mid-December, Tesla achieved a rate of 3,000 Model Ys being built in a single week. Now, from a number of sources that I've read, Tesla has been aiming for a rate of 5,000 Model Ys being built per week, and they wanted to do that by sometime around early 2023, based on some reports that I saw. This makes a lot of sense with what Tesla mentions in their investor update letters, like this Q4 2022 letter, where they say that the installed annual vehicle capacity at Gigafactory Berlin is greater than 250,000. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at this, Tesla was able to go from 2,000 to 3,000 uh, units per week, much quicker than they were able to go from 1,000 to 2,000 units. For example, Tesla's announcement of their 1,000 per week rate on June 17th to October 1st when they made a 2,000 per week announcement, that is 106 days. However, if you go from that 2,000 per week announcement on October 1st to their 3,000 per week announcement on December 18th, that's only 79 days. Now here we are at the latter end of February 2022. So obviously Tesla's factory should be at a higher production rate than it was in December of last year. And if Tesla is able to achieve the same level of improvement as they did going from 2000 to 3000, it's very possible that by some time in March, Tesla will hit a rate of 4000 Model Ys being built per week. And maybe even by May or early June, they may hit a rate of 5,000 Model Ys being built per week. And they may actually get there faster than this, but this is just sticking with that gaining 1,000 per week rate every 79 days. Now, I'll talk more about this later using some tweets from Troy Testlike on Twitter. Um, but from what I understand, the current factory was designed to be able to produce around 500,000 cars per year. And this will likely expand to 1 million plus in the future. However, the expansion past 500,000 vehicles will most likely include another vehicle like, say, the Model 3 or maybe even a compact Tesla that we'll hopefully hear about on March 1st. Back on December 24th of last year, Tasmanian put out an article discussing a rumor that was tweeted out by at Felix Kern 2 on Twitter. According to this rumor that was tweeted out, apparently an employee at Gigafactory Berlin mentioned that Tesla planned to install production lines for the Model S and the Model 3 there at Gigafactory Berlin. I don't know about the Model S, but it definitely makes a lot of sense for Tesla to produce the Model 3 at Gigafactory Berlin, especially if the rumors about their Highland project are what we think they are, and it comes down to a much more simplified manufacturing process for the Model 3. It would, of course, make a lot of sense to install those new production lines maybe with uh, cast underbodies for the Model 3 as well at Gigafactory Berlin. And this is actually what I expect to happen in the somewhat near future. Now, beyond just vehicles being produced at Giga Berlin, Tesla also intends to build battery cells there as well. And according to a recent article that was posted on the website rbb24.de, Tesla's battery factory at Gigafactory Berlin is now officially in operation. However, before we get too excited, unfortunately though, this factory is not yet producing finished 4680 battery cells, but as this article states, quote, the company only produces individual battery components, Steinbach continues. Contrary to original plans, the US group has relocated further production steps to the USA because the business conditions there are more favorable due to tax incentives. Now, when it comes to when I expect Tesla to start producing finished 4680 battery cells, 
at Gigafactory Berlin. My best guess is sometime in 2024. And this comes from a Reuters article where in October of 2022, this article quoting a German media source mentioned that Gigafactory Berlin would not start mass producing uh, 4680 battery cells before 2024. When it comes to the capacity and the gigawatt hours of annual capacity of batteries that we expect from Gigafactory, Berlin. In the past, as was reported by Electrek in November of 2020, Elon Musk spoke about this topic at a new battery conference in Europe, and he said, quote, I think it will possibly be the largest battery cell plant in the world. It will be capable of over 100 gigawatt hours per year, and possibly over time it will be going over 200 to 250 gigawatt hours. Beyond just the reasons given about moving equipment from Gigafactory Berlin to Texas because of tax incentives that the U.S. government is giving right now. I believe it also makes a lot of sense for Tesla to perfect maybe some of the little small issues that they're still trying to work out at their pilot production line and as they install these new lines at Gigafactory Texas. Once they figure that out and get that really uh, working well, then they can uh, copy paste those steps from Gigafactory Texas to Gigafactory Berlin and Shanghai etc. So I believe there's also wisdom in this since it's taking a little longer than they had hoped to perfect the 4680 manufacturing processes. Now, when it comes to Tesla's plans to expand Gigafactory Berlin in the future, we'll likely hear some more announcements about this. But at Troy Tesla like on Twitter recently had a great thread about this and Troy wrote, quote, the current building at Giga Berlin has just one production line and there is neither space nor any plan to add another line to this building. The line was modeled after Model Y line in Shanghai, which produced 38,381 in December with three shifts. That's 460,572 per year. When it comes to the layout of Tesla's new factories and a single continuous line, you can see here in Tesla's 2021 impact report, they show here a diagram of the Model 3 production line in Fremont, and you can see all the separate buildings where the vehicle has to be moved as it's being built. And then there on the right, you can see a much more continuous, simplified uh, factory there, the Model 3 factory at Gigafactory Shanghai. And you can see there how the factory goes from stamping to body in white, to paint shop, to general assembly, all in one single continuous building, all in one continuous process. When it comes to the planned capacity for the existing factory, as Troy Teslite mentioned once again in this thread, on the Alex Springer show, Elon said Giga Berlin's capacity is 500,000 per year. Troy also mentions at GigaFest, Elon said 10,000 per week. And Troy also mentioned a slide at GigaFest also showed 500,000 per year. Troy goes on in this thread to address a rumor that was going around um, that Gigafactory Berlin would have an installed capacity in the future of 2 million uh, units per year. And apparently this rumor came from a misunderstanding of this particular map showing the future layout of Gigafactory Berlin. Here's Troy Tesla's summary of current and future production capacities. Correct, 500,000 per year current capacity. Correct, 1.5 million potential capacity with two more buildings. Incorrect, 2 million capacity with just one building. So if I'm understanding this all correctly, with their single line right now, they should be able to produce 500,000 Model Ys without building onto the factory. If they add another building just like the one that they have now, they should be able to build, of course, 1 million vehicles. And that next factory could be, for instance, a Model 3 factory. In November of 2022, Electrive.com at that time reported, quote, Tesla wants to submit the application for the expansion of its factory in Grunheide this year, combined with an increase in capacity from 500,000 to over 1 million electric cars per year. This is according to the 2023 budget plan for the Odersprey district. Apparently, this expansion will, quote, involve 70 hectares in the north of the site. And Electrive points out that the expansion plan should not be confused with an extension announced in September for a new logistics center, including a goods station. Nonetheless, as of February 15th of this year, Tesla had not yet officially uh, put an application for this expansion. So while it's expected, it hasn't officially happened as of the recording of this video, as this RBB24 article that we mentioned earlier made clear, quote, Tesla has not yet submitted an application for further factory expansion stages. 
So I don't know about you, but I'm very impressed with how quickly Tesla has been able to ramp up this factory. And I believe by the middle of this year, sometime around June, Tesla will likely be at a rate of around 5,000 Model Ys being built per week, or maybe even greater. And then once again, hopefully we'll hear more about other vehicles being built at this factory. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say a special thank you to Span for sponsoring this video. And also I wanna say once again, thank you to those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and helps make these videos possible. Thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. And if you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work and support what I do in this channel, I'll put a link to my Patreon community in the description below. Thank you so much.